I think what's exciting here for the first time, we have a true disease modifying treatment for indolent systemic mastocytosis. Again, it doesn't cure the condition, but it's a vast improvement over the uh, best supportive care types of therapies that we've had for these patients in the past. So at the 25 milligram dosage, uh, the study clearly shows significant efficacy with very minimal adverse events. So I think this is really exciting for patients that in fact have this condition. Yeah, I thought that the results were interesting. And, you know, now that the FDA has approved the medication, I think that my takeaway is just to also think about how indolent systemic mastocytosis, the patients actually go through a big, long journey to get diagnosed. And now that we have a good medication that's available, we want to make sure that we're doing a better job actually getting these patients to the right diagnosis. So that's something that I took away from it is just that I'm hopeful that now that we do have a therapeutic option, that these patients will get to that diagnosis sooner and then actually have this effective therapy that will reduce their suffering.